Valence Pixtech here guys, welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to announce the Xiaomi series today. It's a new project for me and I'm very excited. Let me explain you what I want to do inside this Xiaomi series and how you can benefit from it. So welcome. welcome, welcome. What is this Xiaomi series guys? So this is my new project. I'm launching on my channel here on the YouTube channel. I want to explain with this video what it's going to be all about. Hopefully there are going to be some things you might find very helpful. The Xiaomi series will be eight exclusive episodes that I'm going to air here on my YouTube channel. Starting with the very first episode, what are the differences between the Chinese and the global Xiaomi phones? This is important information and indeed there are so many Xiaomi phones on the market right now. Chinese versions, global versions, you know, versions made for the Indian market with different CPUs, with different socks, you know, with different random specs, different RAM storages, different camera sensors, NFC enabled, NFC disabled. So there are a lot of things and a lot of differences and people might tend to get, you know, to miss the line here. So I want to do an episode and just explain what are the differences, you know, when you buy a Chinese phone to a global phone. And I hope this is going to be important. Second episode, guys, is going to be installing Google services on a Chinese Xiaomi phone. And I'm going to actually have a star for this new show of mine, which is a Redmi Note 8. I'm going to unveil in the very first video, installing Google services on a Chinese Xiaomi phone. So you buy a Chinese Xiaomi phone, you switch it on, all perfect, but there are no Google services. Don't worry, I'll get you covered. Series number three is going to be unlocking the bootloader of a Xiaomi phone. This is a very, very important and this is indeed the first step that opens the door to the very big universe of custom ROMs and let's say infinite possibilities. So I'm going to explain how this works on my Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. Episode number four is going to be installing a custom recovery on this Xiaomi phone. This is the second important step guys that will kind of like open the door fully to you and then you can embrace all type of custom software, custom ROMs, you know, based on MIUI, based on AOSP. There are plenty of options and I wanna show you how you can install the custom recovery because this is required in order for you to be able to install custom ROMs. Episode number five is going to be probably the star of the show, transforming the Chinese Xiaomi phone to a global Xiaomi phone with custom ROM software. So I'm going to take my Chinese Redmi Note 8, unlock the bootloader, install custom recovery, and install a global MIUI on that phone so that it will pretty much be and operate like a normal global Xiaomi phone. Episode number six, is going to be custom ROMs based on Xiaomi MIUI software. This is its own universe, guys. A lot of options here as well. So I'm gonna guide it through Xiaomi U, Mi Room, and etc. and etc. and etc. And of course, episode number seven, as you might have already guessed, is custom ROMs based on AOSP ROM. So Android Open Source Project infinite possibilities here again and i realize i do sound a little bit like thanos but i think this is pretty much correct so guys last but not least guys the final episode is going to be tuning and setting up your xiaomi phone using miui using something else we have to see just bringing you the best experience and without further ado guys i will present now the star of the show and we can start the first episode Welcome everybody on our first episode from the Xiaomi series Differences between Chinese Xiaomi phone from a global Xiaomi phone And as I told you I have here the star of the show and this is the Redmi Note 8 which is a China version right So that's a Chinese Redmi Note 8 Opening this here for you guys I'm not gonna do an unboxing and review because this phone has been teared down with reviews and unboxing videos. I got the purple blue haze, whatever color, which is pretty much neat. And this is the main star of our show from the Xiaomi series here on the VST channel, guys. Subscribe for my channel, like the video, share it with your friends. But now back on our first episode, guys. So what is the main difference between Chinese ROMs? What is the difference between Chinese phones that are manufactured by Xiaomi and global phones that are also manufactured by Xiaomi? Of course, also not Xiaomi. This knowledge is applicable not only for Xiaomi, but as well for uh, all other like Chinese manufacturers, guys. And they might look pretty much similar on the outside, guys, but I can tell you, indeed, there are very drastic differences sometimes 
not only on the outside but also in the inside and not only on the software but also on the hardware internals okay i am putting this xiaomi redmi note 8 china version phone right now for you guys and as you can pretty much see nobody can tell that is a chinese version because everything is in english and i do also have play store installed that pretty much works so if you want to see how you can install Play Store services, then you have to watch our next series. This series here is about the differences and I wanted to share with you my experience because over the many years I had a lot of Xiaomi phones, starting with Redmi Note 2, Redmi Note 3 Pro Prime, I had the Mi 5, I had the Mi 5S, I have the Mi 6 2 times, Mi 8, Mi 9, I had the Poco phone, I had the Mi Max and pretty, pretty much I'm forgetting everything that I had but a lot of phones. I put a lot of mileage you know, using those phones, which I'm pretty happy with, and I wanted to share with you everything I know for the Xiaomi phones in this Xiaomi series. What are the differences between a Chinese Xiaomi phone and a global Xiaomi phone? Um, most probably, guys, if you take the phone from the box, you will not notice because they look all alike. And I can tell you, a lot of times the differences are very, very subtle. Most of the times it's all about when I got the Poco Phone F1 from India, guys, it would not support carrier aggregation or LTE plus or 4G plus in the country where I live. It really has been made to support different specific bands only in India I believe and maybe in other countries as well. So outside of India which is kind of like the main market for this Indian phone it would not allow you to run on the 4G plus bit which is not a problem for me. Sometimes these frequencies are even not so important so if you buy a phone from China and you want to use it in Europe it's still gonna be fine and in most cases even you're gonna get like the 4G plus aggregation. For example my last phone that I bought the OnePlus 7 was also a phone from China I imported it from China to Bulgaria to Europe and it would not only support some aggregation used in the United States so I really don't care about that people might think okay guys but why why the hell are you buying Chinese phones I mean you live in Bulgaria you live in Europe so why the hell don't go and buy like the global version and I can tell you if you can do this and if you can afford this it's always better you know to buy the version that is meant to be for your market because the main difference you know besides some of the internals is really on the operating system you know Xiaomi Chinese phones comes pre-installed and although it might look pretty much like the MIUI version that we have on the global phones it is different because it doesn't really have here you know all the Google services right the phones that are meant to be for a specific market usually are meant to be ready for this market so it means that they are running some services that people are using in those markets speak about China you know Facebook is not using China they have like WeChat and they have their own like apps of and ecosystems that people are using so of course if you buy a phone that is designed to run in China you will not really get the best experience compared to a phone that has been designed to run let's say in Europe or even it's all in Europe this is kind of like the first thing and then I need to answer the question okay why are you doing this so why are you doing this? And I can only say, yeah, the reason for this is very, 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 very simple. I even can give you an example for the OnePlus 7. So OnePlus 7, the red version with 256 internal storage is just now sold in Europe. So if you want to get like a, even the OnePlus 7T, which is now I think sold in Europe with the version of 128 gigs. So if you want to get like the 256 version, okay, you need to buy it from China. This is why people are doing it. And of course, the second very important thing is price, guys. When you buy the phones directly, you know, from China sellers, you know, on AliExpress, you probably get a better price because in most of the cases they will come without a warranty. I know warranty and Chinese phones, if you live in Europe, is a very hard thing. It's not impossible. There are some stores in AliExpress that offer warranty. So if something breaks, you need to take the phone and just send it to them. And, you know, just by, by doing this, you already lost a lot of money. So, I mean, if it breaks, it stays with you. But the video here is meant to be about the differences. So the very first big difference is, although on the outside, they look pretty much the same phones, there could be some hardware changes. A very recent example, I bought the Redmi 8 one day after the premiere and the launch in India. On the launch itself, they said several times that the Redmi 8 would come with a Sony IMX 363 sensor. But when I bought the global Redmi 8 version, I had to realize that I'm using it with the Sony IMX 486 sensor. So yeah, things like that. Another very good example is the Redmi K20 Pro. If you buy it in China, I think it will run with the NFC. But you know, if you buy the Chinese Redmi K20 Pro version in Europe, you will not have the NFC enabled, although the chip is there. So what you need to do, of course, is unlock your phone, you know, flash a custom ROM, and then, you know, use the NFC the way it's meant to be. Things like this. So first, there could be some changes 
on the internals, on the phone, different camera sensors, you know, sometimes, you know, different storage and RAM combinations. Second thing, of course, the OS is different. And then the third thing, very important, is carrier aggregation or let's say mobile bands could differ really from a Chinese phone to a global phone. So those are really the main, the main differences. There could be some other differences, guys. Maybe I'm missing some. If you know some further differences that I didn't say right now in this video, please put them into the comments below. And it's pretty much it, guys. I hope you liked the video. Again, subscribe for my channel. I will start these days to shoot a second video. So I will be now unlocking this phone, flashing a custom recovery, flashing a custom ROM, and pretty much transforming this Redmi Note 8 Chinese ROM, you know, from a Chinese ROM to a global ROM. Thanks again for watching the video and stay tuned for episode 2 of my Xiaomi series. Have fun and take care.